Hey guys, and welcome back to Always Remember Me. So, uh, let's just jump right back in. So we were ending the day, um, when we were, or when we were last year, I guess. Uh, but look at that, we have 26 with Eddie already! Yeah! Okay, so it's the weekend. Uh, meaning that... Hmm. I guess let's go here and update our blog. Yeah! Okay, and then we need to do some overtime so that we can get our, uh... Oh! Hello! Okay! <laughs> <clears throat> hmm. I hummed to myself as I strode into the mall, ready for a day of shopping. It was a good method of therapy. Perhaps a good shopping vest would cheer me up. I was outside my favorite jewelry boutique when, to my surprise, I noticed none other than Eddie walking past. I laughed to myself and decided spontaneously to follow him and see what he was doing. Nothing much, it seemed, after a bit of walking. Poor Eddie was so lost inside the mall. He wandered from, clothing, from a clothing store to a grocery store and I tiptoed after him, laughing to myself as I watched him puzzle over the many products lining the shelves. He clearly had no idea what to do. Uh, let's help him. Eddie! Amy, this is a pleasant surprise. I smiled at him good-naturedly. It looks like you're having trouble. Never been shopping before? I don't go too often, it's true. I had a roommate who did all of that during med school, so... Well, how about I help you? You can learn much more quickly this way! He beamed at me gratefully. That'd be fantastic. Alright, what do you need first? We walked around the entire store, picking out fruits and vegetables, liquid cleaners, and feather dusters. The time flew away, and before I knew it, we were standing in front of the cash register. Eddie smiled at me. Thanks again, Amy. This was really fun. Aww. Look at that. I laughed as I reached for my purse. You know, I always come to this mall, so maybe we'll meet again? It'd be nice if you could help me again. I'd be glad to. Aww. But that wasn't why I originally came here, but I'm glad we did. <laughs> Alright, so we need... Uh, a little bit more, it looks like. Let's relax. Alright. And then let's relax again. Because that brings up our energy. Which is something that we desperately need. Um. Watch TV. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> but that was so cute. Like... You guys have to admit, that was adorable. Just, aww. Alright, yeah. update blog. Yeah. And then do some overtime. Awesome. I'm awesome. Okay, so we're getting there. Awesome. We are definitely getting to the point where we can buy a new laptop thing. Alright, you know what? Awesome. Screw it. We're just gonna update our blog all day. Awesome. Okay, go home, and today we get to go see Eddie after work. Yeah! Eddie! Oh, hello! <laughs> I stood in the elevator, nervously wringing my hands and wondering what I'd say to Eddie. I decided to, or that everything I'd said to him last time had been a bit over the line. I wanted to apologize. But it felt a bit awkward. Aaron's misfortune was still taking priority above everything else in my head, and I wondered why I even cared enough to tell Eddie I was sorry. Indifferent to my indecision, the elevator door slid open with a, uh, with a tuneful thing, and I stepped into the hallway. I walked along the now familiar path to Eddie's office, and right through his office door. I had assumed he would be alone, but the sight that greeted me surprised me. 
He was in fact talking to nothing other than that bitch Abigail, who seemed to have taken pains to, uh, uh, to look especially attractive today. Her hair was done up elegantly, and she wore a sexy black dress that hung off one shoulder. Her makeup was flawless, and she looked beautiful. Instantly, I hated her. I turned and left without making a sound, forgetting everything I had wanted to say to Eddie. Unfortunately, Eddie had noticed my presence. He came out after me and caught up with me near the lobby. Uh, we're gonna tell him that he shouldn't be helping her. Amy, what's wrong? You shouldn't help her! Who, Abigail? Why? I felt so frustrated. I just wanted to scream. Because she's trying to steal my boyfriend! He was silent for a while as he gave me a long, measured look. I returned it, unafraid to reveal my annoyance with him. She was there trying to get information, but I didn't tell her anything since she's not a relative. Does that please you? I now felt slightly embarrassed. Well, I... Well, thanks, Eddie. I'm happy to hear that. You should trust me a little more, Amy. I wouldn't do anything like that to you. No, you're right. Thank you. And I wanted to say I'm sorry for acting so difficult today and last time, too. I hope I didn't offend you. Aww, they're so cute. No. He gave me a nice smile, and I felt much better. It's fine, Amy. You're going through a tough time, and I know that. You just have to lighten up a little. <clears throat> It'll be all right. You'll see. Thanks, Eddie. I have to go now. Oh, how cute was that, guys? Oh, God. Oh, shit. Welp. Welp. Let's go here and relax. At least once a day. Because that's what we kind of have to do. Yep. And then update blog. Yeah! Discipline went up. Alright. That is so fantastic. Okay. Oh, we're so close. Okay, anyways. Eddie! Nope. That's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Let's update our blog. Yeah, discipline. Oh. Oh. Um. Yeah, so this is just talking about what we can do here. Let's try going there again now. Okay, nope. Nothing. Uh. Huh. Okay, yeah, let's just update our blog again. Because we need that discipline. Alright. And then we go to work! Work, work! We are getting so much closer to buying that netbook. What? Uh, no! Why? Oh, whatever. Update. And then go here, relax. Yeah! And then let's uh, just go here, I guess, and go dance! Yeah! That brought up our morale. Okay. No! We failed to get some decent sleep. No! <laughs> Alright, come on, Eddie. Talk to me. No! Why? Why? Ugh. Oh my god, you are failing at everything! Oh, okay, well, at least you were okay with the whole dancing, I guess. Which is better than nothing, I suppose. Oh my god, we're so close! Yeah! Hi, Eddie! Uh, yeah! Okay, bye, bitch! We don't- we don't like you. Update the blog. Sweet. Okay. And then let's go here to relax. Yup. 
sure you are. You can, uh, you can keep telling yourself that. Oh. Well, we're gonna dance instead. We're not gonna go see the whole band thing. Because we don't really care that much. Oh my god! Uh, why? <sighs> I am not happy about this. Who's awesome? I'm awesome. So not happy. Well, let's uh, go relax. We're gonna spend this entire weekend like relaxing, I guess. Oh yeah. Well, at least we have enough to buy our little laptop thing now. So that's fine. Right? Oh my god, you are... Mm, you are making me so angry! <sighs> Whatever. Bye! Actually, we need to go do some overtime. And then use the evening to relax. And then... We can go and dance! Yeah! Okay, and then we sleep! Why are you having such a hard time sleeping?! I hate you! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm getting so... just irritated! Ugh! This is seriously... stupid! Why? Just... Uh. Okay, fine. Go home and watch some TV so that way your energy goes up because you apparently cannot get sleep. <sighs> I am so angry. <laughs> oh, hi, Eddie. Oh my god, we actually got to talk to him. Holy shit. I am very impressed. Alright, yeah, update your blog. That's right. Uh, it's evening, so let's go relax. Yeah! Energy is up. Okay. Um... Then... I guess let's go here? Yeah! Okay. Mm. <clears throat> I decided to stop at the trendy pub to get a drink and relax after a long day at work. When I got there, I noticed someone I hadn't expected to see wearing rather formal attire with a group of young men who were likewise other er, who were likewise well dressed. Oh goodness, he cleans up well. <laughs> they stood out amongst everyone else in the crowded pub, but it only took me a moment to recognize Eddie. They walked over with a smile and waved to get or I walked over with a smile and waved to get his attention. Hey, Eddie! He glanced up and returned my smile as he came over to me. Good evening, Amy. I didn't think I'd run into you here. Likewise, what brings you here tonight? A few of my younger colleagues wanted to come here to celebrate a promotion. They wanted me to come along since I'm their supervisor. I see! Good for them! I'd rather be somewhere else, though. I'm not too crazy about this pub. Any particular reason why? It's just not my forte. Alright, so we're gonna convince him that it's not so bad. It's not so bad, though. I don't really like techno, and everyone here seems a bit too frivolous. That's the point! I laughed as I shook my head at him. You really have to loosen up sometimes. Especially in a place like this, it's all about having fun. I don't know, it just doesn't seem like something suitable for a doctor. Everyone should have fun. You just have to let yourself go sometimes. He glanced up at the loudspeakers when a familiar rock song came on the radio. And they play more than tech now. Do you recognize this song? Yeah, I actually like this song. It's by the Oitzers. Okay. Let's have some fun then! Eh? I grabbed his arm and pulled him out onto the dance floor. He looked reluctant on countless levels, 
And neither of us were very good dancers. Neither of us were very graceful, but we managed not to step on each other's feet. And after a few minutes of the song, he finally gave up and tried to take or keep pace with dancing to the music. I suppose this isn't so bad. See? It can be fun with the right music. And the right person. Oh. I or he winked as he spoke. We continued to dance for several songs, and I lost track of time very quickly. I couldn't count how many songs we danced to until I glanced up at the clock, surprised to see that it was uh, quite late. Ah, uh, look at the time! Do you have work tomorrow? I do, I'm sorry, but I'd better head home. Don't worry about it. Thanks for making tonight so much fun. Maybe we can do this again sometime? <laughs> Sure. I grinned and nodded enthusiastically. Great! I look forward to it! Good night, Amy. Bye, Eddie! Oh god, that was so cute. That was seriously cute. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and go work. Uh... First of all, we're gonna go talk to Eddie. Aw, oh, hi. Awesome. Hi there, you cutie. Oh, not you. I was talking to Eddie. Sorry. Sorry, bitch. Alright, we're gonna buy that. But we're still gonna go to the library. Okay. Well, that was fine. Let's relax. And then we go home. Go to our room. And, let's see, hmm, <sighs> okay, well, let's just watch TV then, I guess, that works too. Yeah. Alright, yeah. and then we go work, and go talk to Eddie, yeah, we're at 50 already, hey, we're halfway there. We are halfway there, guys. I am rather happy about this. Oh, fuck. Am I able to... No. Well. Whatever. Let's go relax. Because you are not doing too well when it comes to energy. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Hey, you slept! Yeah! That was easy. Okay, then we go talk to Eddie again. But we failed! You are a failure at life. I'm guessing that all of the things that have to do with Eddie are uh, going to happen mostly during the weekend, yeah. is what I'm guessing. Let's, uh,. Try going here. Nope. Okay. That's cool. Uh, watch TV. Okay, well, you're happy. So, that's good. Our energy. Whoops. Whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. Uh, let's go here. Update our. Okay. That's fine. Relax. What? What? Awesome. Okay, do some overtime. And just go home and watch TV. Because you failed at relaxing at the park. I am extremely disappointed. Bring it on. Yep, okay, update your blog. Which is fantastic that you actually did it. Awesome. And then we relax. And then let's, uh... Go do some overtime. And then we go home to go watch some TV. Yes? Oh, okay. Yeah. You suck! Ah, I bit my own tongue. Bring it on. Well, okay. That's cool. Then let's go Bring here to on. update blog. Yeah. 
and then come here to relax. Ugh. I'm so angry at her! Why? Watch some TV. Thank you. Alright, and uh, this is where we are going to leave off this video. So, I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to become part of the legacy today. And I will see you guys in the next video. So, bye bye